for those who've been feeling down, tired, or just moving through life with low expectations, there's something unexpected coming your way. For some of us, life has been about just getting by, expecting little or nothing at all. But let me tell you, there's more to come than we realize. And yes, this includes what we might call vengeance, but it's not what you think. This isn't about you taking revenge or even seeing it happen directly. It's something deeper and more hidden. The kind of balance being restored is happening in ways that only your ancestors and guides can witness. Those who have caused harm or wished ill upon you are being led through their own challenges in a way they never expected. Spirit doesn't ignore anyone. Even those who refuse to learn from their actions aren't left out. They don't get a free pass, but instead they're guided through their own darkness. They will walk a path that mirrors the struggles they hoped you would face. They'll face their own trials, learning lessons they never thought they'd have to. These are the same people who worked against you in secret, who tried to turn others against you. Now they are beginning to see the consequences of their actions. Spirit is balancing the scales, but not in a way that's loud or obvious. It's a quiet justice, witnessed only by those in the spiritual realm. I can sense the energy shifting as judgment takes its course, and it's not what many imagine it to be. This isn't about warnings in the typical sense, like a heads up to change before consequences begin. No, it's deeper than that. These individuals are stepping into a more profound phase of their reckoning, and it's already underway. Here's the truth about them. They're consumed with thoughts of you. Their obsession runs so deep that if they could, they'd try to become you entirely, taking over your essence, your mind, your being. They had this illusion of control over you, believing they'd captured you completely. Spirit allowed them to hold on to that belief for a while, but it was a false comfort. Suddenly, you woke up, and when you did, it was as if you had never been under their influence at all. Now they're haunted, not just by their failure, but by the uncertainty of what you know about them. It's not just envy anymore, it's fear. The knowledge that you are out there, living your life with insight into who they truly are, eats away at them. They gave you their secrets, thinking you were oblivious because you cared for them deeply. They misunderstood love, its forgiveness, its depth, its power. They operated from a shallow place, driven by desires like lust, greed, and manipulation. Their actions came from a mindset so limited and base, it was almost animalistic. They couldn't comprehend the higher vibrations of love and light that you embody. In many ways, they were functioning in the lowest realms of existence, far from understanding what it means to truly be human, let alone an earth angel. And now, ironically, their wish is coming true, but not in the way they expected. They wanted to be like you, to possess what you have, and now they are being given the chance to walk a similar path. But it's not a blessing, it's a lesson. Spirit's way of granting their prayer is to force them to see what it truly takes to rise above. Is that really a prayer? No. Spirit doesn't interpret manipulative tactics aimed at harming its chosen ones as prayers. But don't worry, their so-called prayer has been heard and their wish is coming true. What they don't realize is that they've signed up for a journey they aren't prepared for, the path of a warrior. It's almost ironic, isn't it? They unknowingly chose the very path they sought to destroy. It makes me pause sometimes and wonder, how did we become the chosen ones? But that's a story for another time. Right now, these people are watching you closely, trying to decode your life like a blueprint. They're baffled, stuck in the traps they set for you, trying to understand how you not only escaped, but thrived. They're puzzled by your resilience, your growth, and the way your mind works. Chosen ones are like shapeshifters, we evolve, shed old layers, and step into new versions of ourselves faster than anyone can comprehend. This constant growth is why we often outgrow relationships, environments, and situations. It's not easy, but our journey requires us to move forward, leaving behind what no longer aligns with us. Our growth is so rapid, it's almost as if we're powered by something beyond the ordinary. The people who once thought they knew you can't recognize who you've become. Deep down, they always sensed your potential, even if they didn't fully understand it. Your energy speaks volumes, even when you're unaware of it yourself. That's why some people treat you so strangely. They see your greatness before you do, and they hope you never wake up to it, because they know once you do, there's no stopping you. 
Envy thrives in the hearts of the unhealed, even among those closest to us. It's a reality we can't ignore. But as we continue on our path, we leave the past where it belongs, with those who are stuck in it. While they remain in disbelief, you keep rising, unstoppable and untouchable. Let go of those from the past. Even people you met just last week are wondering where the version of you they encountered has gone. That's because you're constantly evolving, like a transformer shifting into something new. For so long, you slowed your growth, pretending not to understand deeper realities, thinking you had to stay back and bring others along. You felt it was disloyal to trust your intuition and move forward unapologetically. But now you see the truth. You were never meant to hold yourself back for anyone. People guilt tripped you into staying within their reach because they relied on your energy to fuel their lives. Your presence, your essence, it's like a form of currency to them. It keeps them going, helps them function, while you are left stuck, unable to move. But that's over now. You've stepped away from the need to pause for others, and those you've left behind are bewildered. They can't fit you into their neat little categories anymore because you embody everything and nothing they understand at once. You are motion itself, a force of energy that flows freely, unrestricted by judgment or labels. True ascension isn't about being better than anyone. It's about releasing all barriers to your full expression. You're showing what it means to live as a pure representation of source energy, unburdened by ego. That's why you've left behind the falsehood of pretending to stay small just to make others comfortable. You're done living that lie. Now people expect you to stay the same, but you've moved on. This isn't about playing games. It's about genuine self-love and respect. Meanwhile, those who sought to hold you back are stuck at the very beginning of their own journey. They're realizing, painfully, how trapped they are. Some are drowning in destructive habits, others are pretending to live while feeling empty inside. They're at square one, far from the growth and clarity you've achieved. They've messed with the wrong person, and now they're learning what it means to walk in your shoes. Spirit is teaching them, step by step, what they once failed to understand. And they'll learn. It's inevitable. Now they're watching closely, observing you like a student trying to learn from a master. Yes, a master, because that's what you are. They're attempting to understand how you transform, how you shed old layers, and how you turn the very energy they tried to trap you with into something powerful. But they have no idea what they've signed up for. For some of them, this journey will take an entire lifetime, if they're strong enough to endure it. The Most High is revealing to them just how resilient you are. The tools they crafted to destroy you are now showing them your strength. What they thought would break you has only made you stronger, leaving them stunned. They're beginning to realize you're not like them. You aren't made from the same fabric. The qualities that drew them to you, that made you captivating in their eyes, are now the same qualities that fill them with fear. For those who harbored ill intentions, this realization is unsettling. They've even been shown dreams, visions from the Most High, revealing how their actions were actually shaping you into the person you were destined to become. These weren't just dreams, they were prophecies. Yet instead of understanding, they tried to fight harder, thinking they could prevent the inevitable. But now the truth is sinking in. They need to step back. Some are offering weak apologies, while others remain silent, paralyzed by terror and confusion. The Most High has gone quiet, the dreams and messages have stopped, leaving them in an eerie silence. They're now facing the consequences of their actions. Mundane problems, like financial struggles or even mental prisons that weigh heavily on their spirits. It's a nightmare they never imagined, and one that you, in your strength, never had to endure. They once looked in the mirror, asking who was the greatest. The answer was always you. Now the energy they tried to project onto you is returning to them tenfold while everything you deserve is pouring back into your life. They're left frozen, forced to prepare for the journey of transformation with only the smallest tools. And so, my loves, it's time to acknowledge their path. Eventually, we will meet them at the other end, where they too will be purified. Until then, go forward in your light and have a beautiful day.